got back from Florida where I was uh, visiting my family for the holidays and I had a great time. I went swimming with the manatees. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, and I had a great time, but when I came back to New York City, I wanted to do a little light exercise. So I just grabbed my skateboard and I went out for a skate. Now, when I was out, I realized that I didn't have any food in the house because I was away for a week. So I went by Whole Foods and I picked up just enough food so that I could hold in a bag and skate back home. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be skating around with too much. So. I'm going to show you a simple recipe and a cool idea for healthy cooking for busy people. It's really simple. It's very healthy. It's actually also uh, affordable. So you just want to get some chicken or turkey, whatever your favorite uh, poultry is. You can also get this. This is a free range organic chicken broth from Pacific Foods. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. It's from Imagine, but Pacific also has. Um, you can get these at Whole Foods or health food stores and then for your carb or your vegetable you can get uh, celery and carrots. Celery and carrots are very easy to make so the whole thing is very simple and while the chicken is cooking you can prepare your vegetables and the whole thing can sit in a pot for two or three days and you'll have enough food for two, three or four meals. Here's a cool tip okay. for vegetables, two things. Whenever you get fresh produce you don't want to wash it until you're just about ready to cook it. So when you bring it home, the first tip is don't wash it. Second tip is get these green bags. Uh, get a green bag. Don't wash your produce. Put it in a green bag. When you're ready to cook it, or use it, or eat it, then you wash it at that moment. You got it? Now, with carrots and celery, all you got to do is steam the carrots lightly, very lightly, not a lot. Remember, your produce you want to keep raw, but some vegetables should be cooked, but cooked just a little bit. So you're going to steam the carrots, but you're not going to steam the celery. And then okay. when that's done, I throw out the water, put in the chicken broth into the pot, I put the carrots, the celery, and the cooked chicken in there, and got it. All right, check it out. Okay, see what I'm saying? I put in seven chicken thighs, and then I put in my carrots and celery. So now I know how much, uh, what do you call it, broth to put in now. It's better to get your own, either make your own broth or get it from some local organic farmers. Uh, if you can't do that, then you just do this. And I'm going to fill it up to about... Right there. Oh, and by the way, I left the fat in. So the fat from that is now in that. So just remember, one of the biggest misconceptions in nutrition is that fat is bad for you, which is false. It's a, not true. It's a false teaching that makes a lot of people sick and depressed. You need good fat, including saturated fat and animal fat. So I cooked the chicken in coconut oil. I added it back into the pot. I now have a pot of... Uh, good chicken soup whenever I'm hungry over the next one or two days I'm a big eater so it'll be gone by tomorrow probably at lunchtime but uh, you can make as much or as little as you want and you can have it for several days at a time so that no matter when you're hungry you always have good food on hand and that is a secret to getting healthy when you're very busy okay so give it a shot and let me know what you guys think I'll talk to you soon peace